Hi, I'm Nikki Butler and I'm a skin and scar specialist. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about one of my favourite subjects, um, but also something that I consider to be the best anti-aging product you can invest in. Um, I like to start with that because I tend to find that people listen if I say that it's the best anti-aging product and it's true. Um, but what we're going to talk about is sunscreen. Now, some of you may be rolling your eyes at me right now and anybody that's followed me for a while or that has been one of my clients will know that this is something that I'm really, really passionate about, but with good reason. So we're going to talk about why we need a sunscreen, different types of sunscreens that are available and how to choose one that is right for you. And also a couple of things to kind of think about or to look out for. Um, first of all, we're going to look at the different types of UV rays. So you have two different UV rays. You have UVA rays and UVB rays. Now, I think the easiest way to remember these is UVB. The B is for burning. And those are the rays that we typically associate when the sun's out. So that tends to be when many people will reach for their sunscreen. And we do have a little bit one and done in the UK, which where people will apply their sunscreen in the morning and then that will be it. But you do need to be applying sunscreen every two to three hours. We also have UVA rays and UVA is for aging. So up to 80% of premature aging is caused by UVA rays. And we're exposed to UVA rays 365 days a year, come rain or shine. And this is why I say that your sunscreen is your best anti-aging product. So I'm gonna say that again. UVA rays are responsible for up to 80% of premature aging. So applying a sunscreen every single day is literally your best anti-aging product. So when we kind of look at the different types of sunscreen that I'd recommend that you use, you need to be using a formula that is specific to the face. Um, and that's because there are different ingredients within those formulas. And if you're using a body um, sunscreen, it's not designed for the skin on the face and you'll often find that it feels quite tacky and sticky and if you're applying makeup it doesn't sit particularly well. But there are different formulations of sunscreen that you can choose from. Now something I'm going to start with is a lot of clients have said to me in the past, oh there's, there's sunscreen in my makeup or there's sunscreen in my moisturiser. So if you think about a moisturiser for example, the moisturiser is designed to hydrate your skin. The sunscreen is designed to protect your skin. If you're including that protection within a moisturiser, it's being very heavily diluted. So the amount of product that is actually coming into contact with your skin to create that protection is very, very minimal. So I would always recommend choosing a separate sunscreen product. You want to be looking for something that is a minimum of SPF 30, ideally 50, so somewhere between that 30 and 50 range. Broad spectrum, and what that means is it covers UVA and UVB rays. And you wanna be looking for a um, four or five star rating, which is in an indicator of the quality of the sunscreen and the sun protection that you'll be getting. So that's what to look for in a, a facial sunscreen. There are different types of sunscreen that you can look at. You've got chemical sunscreens, and you have the natural, or sometimes they're called physical sunscreens. Chemical sunscreens are chemical based, um, and those products go onto the skin, and what they do is they absorb the UV rays and the heat and release that from your skin. Now, typically you have to apply those around 30 to 40 minutes before sun exposure. The natural or the physical type of sunscreens are sunscreens that create a natural barrier and deflect the UV rays. So they are products that contain things like titanium dioxide or zinc oxide. There are pros and cons to using both. Um, using like a natural sunscreen is something I would recommend if you have um, very sensitive skin, if you're prone to breakout, sensitivity, rosacea, um, then really looking at those kind of natural sunscreens and the ones that are unperfumed. There are still natural sunscreens that are very heavily perfumed and can be very irritating for your skin. So that's what I would suggest if you have an inflammatory skin condition or sensitive skin. The downside of the natural sunscreens is they tend not to be as water resistant. So you would need to keep applying them regularly. And also if you've been kind of in the water, that they're sometimes it's worth kind of having a chemical and a natural sunscreen available. 
The chemical sunscreens can be very irritating on the skin. So that's something if I can have clients that have a perfect skincare routine, they're using mineral makeup, they're doing everything right to look after the skin. We come to the summer, they start to use a sunscreen, breakouts, irritation, rashes. If that's you, the first thing to look at doing is to switch to a natural sunscreen. But the chemical sunscreens do tend to be much better in terms of being water resistant. So if perhaps you're going on a holiday where you're in and out of the water, you're doing water sports, then it would be worth considering using a chemical sunscreen for that. So always have a look at the instructions. They, they always say to them, water resistant, waterproof, um, and try different brands and different types. It, it Just because you don't get on with one doesn't mean that you wouldn't get on with another brand. Um, so when I... I get asked, what's the best sunscreen? It's one of the biggest questions I get asked. And honestly, there's no such thing because your skin's the largest organ of your body. It's completely unique to you. And sometimes it is about trial and error. So the sunscreen that I use and I love is um, an Illumia product. I use Illumia Clear Shield. That's a natural sunscreen. Um, I have quite sensitive skin and I have melasma. And I really find that when I use... Um, use clear shield the Illumia product I don't actually need a moisturizer it sort of doubles up as both it's quite hydrating so that's my natural sunscreen of choice but you could also look at La Roche Posay so that's a that's a high street brand that you can typically pick up in in boots and other chemists um, or you can buy online um, and I think that if you are thinking about getting products with tints in again that's absolutely fine a sunscreen with a tint is different to having a sunscreen in your makeup. So the preferred sunscreen for me, if I want something with a tint, will be something like Moisture Matte, which is again, it's an Illumia product, but I know that both Vichy and La Roche-Posay also do tinted versions. So have a look at your high street brands. If you're interested in the Illumia products or medical grade skincare, then by all means, reach out to me. Um, any questions, please let me know. But it is so, so important to be using your sunscreen. I Some people think I'm joking, but I will say I won't treat you. If you're coming to me for clinical treatments, I will not treat you if you're not using a sunscreen every single day. And the reason that's so important is that many of these treatments are causing a minor control wound to your skin. So we're stimulating collagen, we're doing all that really, really good stuff. But if you're having treatment and you're not using sunscreen, then you're making your skin even more vulnerable to the damage from the UV rays. So I literally won't treat if somebody isn't using sunscreen. But actually, if you're investing in any form of skincare or any form of treatment and you're not using sunscreen, in my opinion, it's a complete waste of money because those UV rays are breaking down collagen, they're degrading collagen, they're causing thinning skin, they're causing damage to that tissue. So your other products that you've got, you know, that are kind of fighting to help your skin, such as you know, hyaluronic acid products for anti-aging or maybe vitamin Cs or retinols, you're actually destroying all of that good with UV exposure. And using products such as retinols and vitamin Cs if you are not protecting your skin, you are making your skin even more vulnerable to, to excess sun damage. So I really hope that gives you some insight into why I'm so passionate about sunscreen and how to kind of think about which sunscreens might be right for you. And I am going to leave this video by saying your sunscreen is literally your best anti-aging product. Even if you're watching this and you're in your 20s and you think, oh, that doesn't apply to me your collagen levels start to decline from your mid twenties. And so if you're then having all of that sun exposure, you are going to see as you age, sun damage, increased lines and wrinkles, like, you know, you will start to see those aging effects of your UV damage. So please, please, please invest in a sunscreen, apply it every single day, 365 days a year, make sure that it's a minimum um, SPF 30, UVA, UVB, four, five star rating. Any questions, please reach out.